everyone, it's Melody Lane, and I'm going to show you how to make this butterfly. I first saw this in Cricut Design Space Facebook group. Sally Dobb made a few of these butterflies and a sailboat and some other things, but she didn't make them in Cricut Design Space, and she doesn't do videos. So she couldn't really show how to make it. And I was messaged many times if I could do a video on how to do this in Design Space. So I sat down to Design Space. It took a few hours, but I figured it out. So I made this card. I didn't stick it together yet. This is done with Cricut paper. And I just made a thank you card by attaching the thank you to it. And I did this in a writing style. I show how to do that in many of my videos. This comes out flat and then you just very carefully bend this up. And you don't want, when you're taking this off the mat, you really need to use a spatula so it will come off cleanly without ripping because you don't want to rip this part here or this part here. This is all one piece of paper. I'm going to show you how to do it in Cricut Design Space. First, we're going to go to Insert Image. And I was here. This is where I get my shapes. Whoops, I forgot to get my butterfly. Okay, we're going to go to All Images. And we need a butterfly that has a uh, shadow, or not a shadow, but like a background, a base piece. So we're going to type in butterfly. The one that I used is from Anna Griffin's Elegant Embellishments. I think any, I think these would work also. Here's the one I used. And you can click here. It's from Elegant Embellishments. The number is hashtag M902A7 or number sign. But if you type this into the search up here, it'll come right up. So that's M902A as an apple and seven, if you want to use the same one. Now I've purchased this one. If you, if you don't own this cartridge, you can buy just the butterfly for only 99 cents. So let's mark it with a check mark here. Click on insert images. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about this right now. This is what I use for the card base, but you can put this on anything. You don't have to make it a card. You can make it a scrapbook page too. You could just put this on a big piece of paper or a circle or anything you want. Okay, now let's get busy. Let's hide these. Those are not needed. So we only have two layers. The background, which is the darker pink, and see how the background is on the outside? That's what we need to make this. So any image that has that like shadow piece, you can do this with. And I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this just because I like to have a duplication in case something happens or I mess up. I have another one just like it. So I'm gonna select this. Because they're grouped together, just selecting this selects both layers. And I'm going to go over here and click Slice. There's only two layers, so it will slice. Now it's sliced. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide one of the layers. And I'm going to insert a circle. Gonna unlock the lock, move the circle. Okay, then move the circle. Over the middle. Then 
And I'm going to put a box around them both. Just so I know that it's centered properly, I am going to say center horizontally. Yeah, I did a pretty good job. Okay, so now while I have them both selected, I'm going to click slice. Pull this away. There. Now I have my butterfly. Don't need these pieces. Now, if I wanted a solid butterfly without all the intricate stuff. Okay, this was the original butterfly. And remember, we got rid of these layers. But if I want a solid butterfly, I'm going to get rid of the top layer. Okay. And get rid of this one. And open this one up. So you can see it just kind of will have a line around there. So we're going to select that. Both of these layers are selected. You have to have two layers and then click slice. And I can hide this one. And then I just have the outline. And we do the same thing I did to the other one. We're going to do a circle. Unlock it. Now you can do this with other shapes. They don't have to just be a butterfly. But you do have to have something with like a shadow around it. So it will make a full line. So the cut line won't just cut down here. It's only going to cut the outside. As you can see here, it cuts around there. So let's align this. Center horizontally and slice. And actually we can't just eye these out. There. So now you have the solid butterfly. But now what do we do with it? We don't want paper to just cut out like that. So let's unlock this. Now, you can make this into a card or anything you want. Actually, let's try it on a circle. I think a circle would be cool. I'm just going to do a circle. Let's make it big enough. Okay, let's do this one. And it's underneath because we put the circle on last. So let's just go ahead and click Arrange and move to the front. Let's align this into the center. And we're just going to click Center. Mm, don't want it up that high. I'm not agreeing with that center. Probably is the center. Okay, so now I'm going to put a box around it to select them both, and I'm going to slice. Okay, now let's pull this out. And this will cut out the wings, but the body is still connected to the paper. Like in the card I showed you. But you can attach this to anything. I already created this file in Cricut Design Space and shared it with my Patreon Facebook group. And will be sharing it with my Patreons on my Patreon.com slash Melody Lane. I gave them a file with this and this and the full butterfly by itself also. But they don't own it. They still have to pay 99 cents. It's not an SVG. It's an image. So any images in design space you don't own, you have to buy them from Cricut. But this kind of looks like a butterfly in a bubble. 
How cute would that be in an underwater scene or something? And you can do the same thing with this. It just won't have all the cutouts. So that's it for today's video. I will see you in the next one. Thanks everyone for watching. But before you go, here's a shout out to a few of the people who support me on Patreon. Thanks everyone. Lena Knutson, Antonio J, Cindy Bolton Dupe, Nancy Patke, Donna Vacar, Rose Brennick, Melinda Strange, Gail Quava, McKinney Williams, Jennifer Tomasic, Jim Eber, Cindy Wesley, Kathy Messenger, April Story, Sheila Leary, Veronica Cano Campos, Grace Kearns, Jody Wilkins, and Allison Hayward. Thanks, everyone.